There are so many misconceptions about jobs in cybersecurity, and especially in the tech field that are keeping potential professionals just like you from making the leap into this rewarding field. Well, that was into this video, because I'm about to debunk five myths that are keeping you stuck in your low paying job and keeping you from getting access to a six figure tech career. Are you ready for this? Let's go. What up cyber heroes and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Boyd Clewis, six figure tech career coach and internationally recognized cybersecurity expert. And I help people upgrade their jobs into a six figure tech career. And if you want to join me on this journey, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that red bell so that you're notified whenever I drop new content every week, guaranteed to take your career to six figures and beyond. All right, cyber heroes, buckle up. And here's the deal. You need to make sure that you got a pen and a piece of paper something to take notes with smartphone dumb phone because i'm about to give you some nuggets this is extremely important this is probably one of the most important videos that i have ever done because i see so many comments about boyd i need this experience i need this degree i need this certification stop complaining and listen to what i'm about to tell you because i'm about to give it to you straight facts and let's just jump right in. Myth number one is that you need to be a coding genius to work in cybersecurity. Eh, completely incorrect. I'm gonna tell you this. I have made millions of dollars in cybersecurity and I don't know how to code a lick of nothing. And I ain't the only one. So let me break this down to you so that you understand this. What most people don't realize, that is not the only part of cybersecurity, guys. And I blame Hollywood and their hacker films that always show these guys with these hoodies on, sitting there coding and hacking into systems. You have to think about the cybersecurity industry just like the medical industry. How many different type professionals work in medical? You got people that check ears, nose, throats, eyes, knees, ligaments, bloods, heart, and every single one of these different fields requires different skill sets. Yes, if you want to be a programmer or a penetration tester, you will need to have some type of programming skills so that you can try to break into code. But there's other options that don't involve coding hacking or even technical skills at all, such as cybersecurity auditors, risk management professionals, IT managers, compliance auditors. There's so many different fields that don't require coding, but it's important that you take a look at these and don't put your blinders on and just automatically think that you need to be a hacker because that's what you saw on TV. Jumping back into number two that you have to have a technical background to work in cybersecurity. Absolutely wrong. Again, there are so many different facets of cybersecurity. And what I like to do is how I help people make the transition into tech and cybersecurity is through non-technical means by becoming compliance analysts and compliance auditors and risk management professionals. What this is doing is examining policies, procedures, and risk and processes to make sure that they adhere to specific standards. We're not talking about fixing systems. We're not talking about tech support. We're not talking about hacking or coding or anything like that, you have to open your eyes into this new level, this new niche in cybersecurity. It's actually called GRC, which is Governance, Risk, and Compliance. It's non-technical, guys. We've helped people that were CDL truck drivers become six-figure tech professionals because they leverage the experience from monitoring inventory, managing manifest, and producing goods on receipts. So we're talking about auditing, governance, risk and compliance. The same core principles that apply to those truck drivers actually transitions well over into cybersecurity. But you won't know that again if you have this Hollywood lens on what cybersecurity looks like. It doesn't completely work like that, guys. You don't need to be a coding person and you don't need to be a technical genius. We've also even helped people that had legal backgrounds that were attorneys become cybersecurity specialists because cybersecurity policies have to be written. Having an eye for a legal lens to be able to help companies create policies and procedures that protect them from a legal standpoint is important. No hacking involved in that, no coding. It's literally using the skills that you already have to function in this new niche. Here's the next one, I think it's funny. Cybersecurity jobs are boring and repetitive. Okay, even if that was the case, if you're making like 150,000 a year, do you really care? Like really, I'm not even gonna go into this myth. I mean like, I'm not. 
I'm not. Myth number four, cybersecurity professionals only work in isolation. This is completely not true. Again, if you look at these Hollywood movies, you see a guy in a hoodie somewhere by himself hacking and coding away. Guys, that's not reality. With over a decade of experience as a cybersecurity professional, I worked as part of teams and we had different functions in this team. I was generally the primary technical lead, but I also had project managers, business analysts and security coordinators and security analysts that worked under me where we collaborated together and worked on different aspects of projects for security reviews, security incident response, security assessments that happen annually. So there was no working in a silo, which means the full responsibility doesn't fall on you. You can use your team members to leverage their expertise to help you get your job done in a collaborative format. So you don't work in a silo, again, unless you're one of those Hollywood people that just sit in a cafe with the hoodie on hacking all day. If you made it this far, this is a great time to like this video subscribe to the channel so that you're notified whenever I drop new content guaranteed to take your career to six figures and beyond. Now let's jump into myth number five, which, oh my gosh, this right here is funny. Hey Boyd, all cybersecurity roles require security clearance. No, they do not. They do not. Come on now, guys. I'd be like, y'all need to let me know in the comments where y'all be finding these jobs from. They be having all these outrageous requirements, like 15 years of Kubernetes experience when Kubernetes has only been out for like 10 years. Government clearance jobs. Like, where are these? There are plenty of jobs in the private sector that don't require security clearance at all. As a matter of fact, if something is going to require a security clearance, it's usually something in the public sector working for the federal government. And I personally have no experience working in the federal government, nor do I have any interest because I made entirely too much money working in the private sector. If you stay in the private sector, then you will not be required to have a security clearance. You just need to meet the requirements that the job is asking for. So I don't really advise anyone to do that. I also don't advise anyone not to do it. I'm just telling you what works for me. And of course, cyber heroes, because I love you, I got a bonus one for you. And this one right here, I need y'all to sit down and take a breath. Take a breath. Breathe, breathe. A little yoga before this one. Because this one is going to challenge you. You do not need IT certifications to get into tech. Yes, you don't need IT certifications to get into tech or cybersecurity. As a matter of fact, if you look back to my previous video about five reasons why your IT certification is actually preventing you from getting a job, you'll understand that that IT certification is just a conversation starter to get you to the interview. But if you rely too much on the certification and not the skills that you actually have earned, if you have earned any skills, you're not going to get the job. So the thing is through networking, hands-on experience and communication skills, you can land a high paying tech job without needing any IT certifications at all. Companies want to hire people like you that can solve problems. And if you can communicate how your skill set will allow you to solve those problems, then you'll get the job without being asked about a certification. So I want you to think about it like this. Imagine that you went and you had a conversation with someone like you were having like the worst knee pain of your life. And that person was able to instantly diagnose what was wrong with your knee how they've helped other people in this similar situation cure that pain and now they're walking pain free. Would you ask them about how many years they've been doing this? What certifications they have? You, hell, you probably wouldn't even ask them how much it costs, just fix it. It's no difference in business and getting a new job. Be able to use the skills that you have, articulate your ability to solve the problems and you will get the job. It is simple as that. If you'd like to learn the skills that will help you completely bust through these myths to land a six-figure tech career without college degrees, certification, or coding skills, it is time that I personally invite you to join the Baxter Clues Training Academy. You can go to boydclues.com forward slash GRC or click the link in the description and apply to join the Baxter Clues Training Academy, where we've helped people upgrade their jobs to six-figure tech careers in as little as 90 days. We've helped hundreds of people worldwide, and I would love the opportunity to mentor you and coach you to the next phase of your career so that you can take control of your income once and for life and become a six-figure tech earner. I'm ready for this. Are you ready? Click the link. That's it, and I will see you on the next video.